Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we'll be reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2023. This will be a three card general reading, so take the messages that resonate, leave the rest behind. As always, if you guys would like to see what's going on in your life, you can check out or you can book a private reading on my website, LadyScorpiusTarot.com, as well as check out my beautiful services and products that I have on there. You guys that have an announcement, I have my Osiris 13 spiritual bath that is now available on Lady Scorpius website. Um, if you guys are experiencing any spiritual blockages, any heavy energies lingering on to you, go ahead and get my herbal bath. It's, it's good for, um, I'm sorry, you guys, it's good for invoking peace, power, and protection. And I also have my Jezebel root oil. So if you guys are trying to manifest wealth when it comes to business, career, um, partnership, go ahead and check that out, you right, you guys. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for my cancers for the month of February. We're going to be using my oracle deck created by me. This is the Flower Child Oracle. This is a 98 or 99 card deck. <laughs> oracle card deck. But let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for my cancers. One second, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. Universal Spirit, Angels, Sending Guys, and Masters, Gods, and Goddesses. Give me messages for my cancers. So I'm going and Venus for the month of February 2023. What messages do you have for my cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2023. Ooh, let me get better shuffle. I see your messages I love like clarity for my cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2023. Spirit, three cards only for cancer. What can they expect? What is the overall energy surrounding them for the month of February 2023? Spirit. Ooh. <sighs> So we had an extra card, making the effort. So somebody is definitely trying to make an effort towards you or could be trying to come towards you right now. The overall energy we have is trust the universe. So spirits want you to have faith this month. Whatever you're trying to meditate on or whatever you're trying to manifest, you know, spirit is want you to trust them. Some of you guys could have felt like maybe a lack of faith, a lack of hope. Um, it could have been a certain, you know, Certain events that happen in your life that could have just threw you off your square or just kind of had you feel boggle. Maybe had you feel like maybe you don't want to even believe in the universal, have faith in your spirituality or, you know, the creator to pull you through these challenges. But spirit is, just one, spirit is saying that you need to be optimistic this month. Stay patient with yourself. Whatever challenges or whatever issues you're going through, this too shall pass. Okay, Cancer? So trust the universe that things are going to work out in your favor. The first card we have is refocus, all right? Some of you guys, it's time for you guys to refocus. The second card we have is lust. Then we have medica meditation is the key. I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm a tongue twisting like a damn. <laughs> I'm tongue twisting like shit. Like, I don't know what's going on with my cancers. Maybe some of y'all just feeling like all over the place, boggle, can't really like communicate how you feel because I'm getting tongue tied. But the overall energy, I mean, well, that's what we had, but we also had, like, an extra card that popped out was making an effort. So some of you guys, spirit is wanting you to make more of an effort towards something. It's time for you guys to refocus your energy. Um, if anybody has been around you trying to distract you from your goals, your ambitions, um, things that you're trying to accomplish for yourself, it's time for you to refocus. If anybody's coming in with negative energy, throwing you off your square, making you feel, you know, less than, inadequate in any way, or just making you feel crazy, it's time for you to, like, yeah, refocus and put them to the wayside. I feel like some of you guys might got a lot of lustful energy around you right now. Or maybe you guys could be lusting over somebody. We have lust card here. So some of you guys also can be, like, in a relationship that's, like, only physical. Maybe you're wanting more than just a physical relationship, um, a physical situation. You're wanting more of a commitment. You're wanting something real, something solid. And I feel like maybe the people that's around you right now could just be lusting over you because of what you have or how you look. Maybe you're, you know, a lot of cancers you know really dreamy looking so you might have a lot of people lusting over you or some of you guys could be dealing with a lustful partner all right but spirit is saying it's time for you to meditate okay some of you guys maybe haven't meditated in a while months years for some of you guys maybe some of you guys have been so busy when it comes to work and life that you haven't really took time for stillness to think and gain clarity on the situation so you can make the best possible decision for yourself but spirit is saying once you sit down and take a moment for yourself and meditate you're going to get the clarity and the answers that you need to make this decision or make the effort towards something rather than just cutting out this lustful energy and you know refocusing on something that's meaningful um refocusing back on yourself self-love self-care i feel like you guys are really really needing to sit down with yourself and take a break possibly i feel like some of you guys might work a lot might have children um might just have a lot of responsibilities and you haven't really had time for yourself 
So let's see what's going on with my cancers for the month of February. We're gonna clarify these cards. Spirit, clarify, refocus for my cancers for the month of February 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is refocus here for my cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are wanting to put down a burdens when it comes to maybe work or career. Um, some of you guys, when it comes to work, you can feel like you're overworking right now, and you feel like it's too much on your back. It's too much of a burden. Maybe it's making you feel, like, depleted. It could be affecting your physical energy. You can feel like you're carrying a lot of weight. Some of you guys will be also working long hours, all right? And some of you guys are just wanting to refocus and reshift your energy. But Spirit is saying, like, the weight will be over soon. Like, these ten of, this ten of wands that you're carrying, you know, some of you guys might be working hard and feel like you're carrying a whole bunch of load on you, like a heavy load on you, but it's going to pan out. I feel like you're working hard, but ultimately, whatever you're working for it, whatever you're working towards, if you continue to make the effort, Spirit is saying you're going to be able to relax after that where meditation is key. You will have a chance to break away and meditate and take time for yourself. But I feel like a lot of you guys right now could be focused on work and all the responsibilities or barriers you have going on right now. Clarify and refocus for my cancers for the month of February 2023. Why is refocus here for my cancers coming around in the Venus? Yeah, we have the Death card and the Page of Cups. For others of you, you can feel like this is you wanting to refocus from a partnership or a relationship that you were once invested into. With the Eight of Pentacles, you could have been like, you know, putting time, money, energy, and effort into a situation. And with the Ten of Wands, it became too much of a burden. It became too much of a lot of weight on your shoulders. You felt like it was a lot of dead weight that was on your shoulders and you were carrying other people's burdens. And I feel like some of you guys are wanting to release that because we have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. So some of you guys could be known for um, Scorpio. Um, this could be your energy as well with the page of cups, but I feel like something like somebody could have tried to came in like with, this could be talked of a child you know maybe some of you guys this could be a child's father you're talking to a child's mother but if not like i said this could be somebody that was coming in trying to make a, a apology or come in with some type of emotional offer or emotional message and i feel like you guys are just not wanting to deal with any burdens and you're wanting to refocus some of you guys also if this is work related you're wanting to put an ending to your job because you feel like it's very strenuous some of you guys might be a chemist or you might use your hands maybe some of you guys are in the medical field or the herbal field um you might work with herbs and roots but i feel like some of you guys are wanting to end this workload because you feel like it's too much it's too heavy cancer and some of you guys are wanting to be like do something more lighter like go after your inspiration like you become an artist some of you guys might paint draw you might be actors maybe some of you guys are wanting to get into the arts instead like maybe your passion is there that's for a small group of you guys i just feel like the page of cups being here in the ten of wands and eight of pentacles some of you guys this might be also like an end into a career because you're wanting to do something more light-hearted okay maybe some of you guys are also want to work with children or be a teacher all right but for the most part like yeah this could be somebody that you're cutting out but others that this is relationship you're cutting out somebody that you might even have children with this could be toxic children if not this is somebody just trying to come in to you know give some type of emotional offer something small not nothing grand they could be making an apology or wanting to see you or tell you how they feel about you telling them telling you they missed you but i feel like you're just not really focused on that but i got a page of cups for my cancer why is it here for the month of february 2023 why is the page of cups here for my cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2023? Yeah, we have the full of card. Yeah, some, I mean, the um the full card. Some of you guys are just wanting to take a leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? You're wanting to start a new journey right now. You don't really care about anybody that's coming in with apologies, fake-ass apologies, wanting to, like, want you to invest in them because you felt like it was already a lot when you was invested with this person, when you was, you know, dealing with them, taking action towards them. It was just a lot of dead weight and a lot of drama and baggage that you had to carry. So a lot of you guys are looking forward to starting a new journey with the food cart. Some of you guys can also be connected to an area. Clarify the food cart. The cancer for the month of February 2023. Why is the food card here? It's the cancer, some who rising in Venus for the month of February 2023. Why is the food card here? Ooh, we had a lot of cards. Too many cards. Give me one card for the food card spirit for cancers for the month of February 2023. Why is the food card here? Can I find a food card? Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are wanting to take a new leap of faith, all right? Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. So some of you guys, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, you can have a soulmate that's coming in right now with the Ace of Cups. You guys could be ending something and taking a new, to, a new leap of faith or a new journey with somebody that's coming in and making an emotional offer. Now, for others of you, you can be um, another follow water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have Sagittarius with Temperance. Um, we have the Queen of pentacles um towards Virgo capricorn male female we have the will so it can be a fixed sign leo scorpio aquarius or taurus um so i'm seeing um 
and Scorpio, I'm sorry, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. So I'm seeing some of you guys, it's like, you're wanting to take a leap of faith. I feel like you closed out one cycle with a person because you want to focus on something that was more stable, solid, um, something that's more balanced. I feel like you have a two of cups here. So you have a soulmate energy that's wanting to come in and make some type of emotional offer or give you some type of love. Or maybe you guys are wanting a more fulfilled soulmate connection. And so you're willing to cut out and end things to focus on your stability, your balance, your peace, your happiness, your home, your family, your animals. <laughs> and you're willing to stay balanced and temperance until this come in. And I do feel like some of you guys do have new love coming in, rather if it's the earth sign or water sign. Also Sagittarius, but a lot of you guys are staying balanced right now. You're staying grounded or spirit is wanting you to. You're, you guys are shifting your focus, okay? Some of you guys are need to meditate, do some yoga, okay? Connect to your spirit self, your spiritual God. But with the Tempest card, this is time for you guys to stay balanced from your addictions. Anybody that's coming in with addictions, stay balanced from that. Temperate yourself from any of that, all right? Let's go on to Lust. Why is Lust here for my cancers for the month of February 2023? Some who rise in the Venus. Why is the lust card here for my Cancer, Sunny, Rising, and Venus? Yes, yeah, five of wands. Some of you guys have been dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or a person that had multiple per multiple people they could have been tied to. Could have been a lot of gossip or fights, disagreements, arguments surrounding this connection. You could have been dealing with somebody, like I said, that was lustful, had pa multiple partners or multiple people that was gossiping about them or that was in their life or talking about them. Whatever the case may be, clarify lust for my cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2023. Why is the lust card here for my cancers? We have the Sun card and the King of Pentacles. So yeah, some of you guys, if you might feel like some of you guys might be connected to a Leo or Earth sign, if you might feel like this might be just lust. You know what I'm saying? I don't really feel like this is just a lustful situation. I feel like this person, and maybe in the past they could have been very lustful. We had a lot of options. But I feel like this person, king of pentacles, male or female, they see you as very stable and solid. And they want to bring in a commitment with you. They can see themselves marrying you, being stable with you. And with the sun card, you make this person really happy. So I feel like you got some, some type of happiness, you know, when it comes to love coming in. Um, optimism, hope, peace that's coming in for you guys. I feel like if it's in, been any gossip surrounding your connection, I feel like that shit is just people that possibly want this person. For some of you guys, if this is a new person coming into your life, because we did have the Ace of Cups. Clarify the, the Lust card. Why is the Lust card here for my Cancers for the month of February 2023? Why is the Lust card here for my Cancers? And some of you guys, you might just have a lot of lust around you, but you only got eyes for one person. You're wanting... You don't want to do anything lustful, um, people that's being passed around. You want one solid, stable partnership that's going to lead to happiness, family, optimism, you know, hope, love, renewal. That's what you want. For others of you, clarify the um, king of, I'm sorry, the um, lust card. Hold on. Give me one more clarify for the lust card. So my cancer's for the month of February 2023. Why is the lust card here, sir? Okay, yeah, we have the three of wands. Somebody got it, got to get left behind. So, yeah, I feel like some of you guys might be known for Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo. Um, we have Leo, Sagittarius. Aries. This person could have been lustful in the past, like I said. But I feel like with you, you brought some type of hope or inspiration to them with the sun card. And I feel like even it might be some people that want them or could be gossiping about who they're dealing with now, who they're talking to. But I feel like this person decided to leave some shit in the past to come towards you, Cancer. All right, so somebody's willing to leave something behind in order to come towards you. They know that there's something better with you. They don't longer want to juggle. All right, I feel like somebody's waiting for their ships to come in. Well, this could be you that's waiting for this to come towards you. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles out there. So some of you guys, this can be like, like I said, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's wanting to come in. They can see you as marriage material, um, male or female. Somebody they can have a family with. They can be stable with. But, you know, I feel like in order for them to do that, they, they leaving some lustful shit behind or they know they got to. All right. Clarify this um, King of Pentacles for my camp, my cancers. The Nine of Wands and the Knight of Cups, Pentacles. All right, so some of you guys, this is definitely an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Some of you guys can be dealing with two different um, earth signs. One older that's more mature and stable and one younger that's trying to come in. Um, if not, this could be the same person. Maybe you feel like this person, you know that they they have their shit together or you're waiting for them to get their shit together. Maybe they can't make you this offer of marriage and stability until they get their money in order. Maybe some of them are going through financial issues right now, so they're really slow moving to take this action towards you. And I feel like with the 
Nine of Wands, you're feeling like burnt out. Maybe you're feeling like the Wounded Warrior or this person that you're connected to is feeling like the Wounded Warrior. Due to financial issues, but they do see a, life, a lifetime with you. They see you making them happy and being happy with you. You have their children. But I feel like the reason why they're slow moving, if, you, if you're not sure, it's because of money, found, money issues, um, foundation issues. But I feel like, you know, also lustful energies, they know that they got to leave that shit behind, okay? Clarify meditation is key for my cancers. Why is this here for my cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we have the Queen of Swords and Hermit. So some of you guys will be doing for Virgo, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You guys, it's time for you to cut shit out. It's time for you to go into Hermit mode and go within. The Hermit mode, Hermit card is all about going within yourself, you know, seeking inner knowledge and inner wisdom so you can make better decisions for yourself. I feel like maybe some of you guys are needing time to yourself. Like I said before, you need to go within. You need to meditate. You need to take time for yourself. Um, some of you guys, maybe you want to go camping right now. Or maybe Spirit is pushing you to get into nature, go out into the woods so you can spend some time to yourself. Go camping. Sit by a bonfire if you got a backyard. Do something that's going to bring in peace and clarity. Um, you know, even gazing in the fire is very meditative as well. Um, fire meditation, that's what I like to call it because your girl have a fire pit. And I like to do that when I'm out sitting by my fire pit. So I feel like for some of my cancers, some of you guys need to isolate yourself from certain people and energies and cut out whatever that's negative that's not serving you. Some of you guys might have like a crazy boss that you're needing to get away from. Maybe you're feeling like this person is stressing you out and you're needing to take a break from this person or take a break from maybe work or being too logical for some of you guys. Um, they can, you know, because I feel like for some of you guys, this might be like a, we have the queen of um, swords. It might be like a boss or a lawyer, um, whatever the case may be. I just feel like you guys, it's not just like you having a lot on your mind and you need to cut out things that's not making sense to you and speak your truth and um, stand your ground. Be graceful about it, okay? And also, <clears throat> while you guys are cutting shit out, Spirit is saying, okay, it's time to take time for yourself. It's time to go into hermit mode. Find that light inside. Find that light at the end of the tunnel so you can make better decisions and make the effort towards what you want. All right, clarify the hermit card. Why is it here for cancer? Let's clarify hermit. Yeah, the page is sore. Somebody can also be spying on you right now, trying to get information because you're not speaking to them cancer. You could isolate yourself from this person as well. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be really childish. Trying to get information, looking on your social media, trying to see what's going on with you. Yeah, they could also be seeing if you start another relationship. I feel like the star card, Aquarius energy. Some of you guys just need to heal. We have the king of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. The lover's card, Gemini energy. So this could be your energy as well. Some of you guys definitely have a soulmate that's going to be coming in. And people are going to be spying on this connection. Or people from the past might be. All right. You got a high spiritual connection that's coming in. With a person that's balanced. The Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They're balanced with their emotions. Could be a father or mother as well. The star card, this is divine time. is going to come in. But it's destined for you guys to meet. All right, but in order for you guys to meet, it's time for you to isolate, stay grounded, cut something out, take time for yourself, then get back out there once you're done healing. Because the star card is about staying balanced and healing and shit like that. So I feel like it's time for you guys to heal. Or some of you guys, somebody can also, you could be also wanting to heal the connection after you take time off of yourself to make a best decision. Like, should you heal this connection? Some of you guys are trying to figure out if you should heal the connection with a possible soulmate or twin flame. All right, there's some healing that needs to be done. It could be a child's father that you're dealing with. Clap by the star card and the lover's card for cancer. The hierophant. Yeah, some of you guys might be wanting to heal the connection with, like, a partner. Somebody you have a divine connection with. Maybe some of you guys need to see yourself marrying this person. You could be also talking to, like, a therapist, a priest, a lawyer. I mean, not a lawyer, a priest, a therapist. Somebody that's, like, very spiritual to help you make this decision. Clap by the lover's card for cancer for February 2022. I mean, 2023. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Why is the lover's card here? Yeah, King of Swords. So we got the Queen and the King of Swords. That's a pair. So some of you guys, yeah, this is definitely a soulmate connection that you're in. Both of you guys are logical, um, very straightforward about what you want, very direct. Some of you guys might be an older person that you're connected to that may be older than you. Some of you guys might be dealing with somebody at work, somebody that's like a boss, a CEO, or like a lawyer. Somebody that's definitely illegal, like in law. Some of you, for some of you guys, you might work together. Clarify I'm making an effort. Why well, is making an effort here for my cancers? Who's trying to make effort towards them or what do cancers need to make the effort towards for the month of February 2023, Spirit? Ooh. All right. We got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody feels trapped with a, a baby mother or a child, a child's mother, a child's father. They want to come towards you, Cancer. I feel like somebody's wanting to make the effort towards you. Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, Eight of the Empress and the King of Wands, they might already be married in a partnership or have a child in a way or see themselves 
having a family with you, but they know that it's going to cause the Five of Swords. All it's going to cause is some type of conflicts, confusion, chaos, fights, arguments, and they're going to be feeling trapped and stuck because I feel like they could be already stuck into another situation. But somebody's wanting to come in and send you a message, Cancer. They could be wanting to take you out maybe for Valentine's Day. Maybe they want to see you, just give you a couple of dollars or give you a small token of appreciation. But I feel like this person is trying to make the effort towards you this month. They coming in with lustful energy. I can feel like this, I feel like this, this person coming in with lustful energy Acting like they want to make the effort, but really they still tied to a relationship and a baby mother. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they want to get you pregnant, so be careful with that, um, Cancer. But I feel like this person, like I said, they're trying to make an effort towards you or coming with a small ass offer, nothing stable. But on the meantime, like on the back end, you have a soulmate that's that's right here. All right, that's coming right behind you. So it's time for you guys to walk away from, you know, sport mill. You know, walk away from people that's not that's coming in sneaky. They don't really want to give you a real offer. A lot of you guys are not really paying no mind anyway. People from the past, you focus on the, on your nine of pentacles, your abundance. You know, your home, your family. You know, yourself. You guys are finding the strength to overcome anybody that's coming in. Uh, lying, cheating, uh, <laughs> being a playboy, knight of cups in reverse. You're not coming in that's bringing it. You're not dealing with nobody that's coming in with mental confusion, emotional confusion, that's coming in with third parties. You guys just focus on, you know, yourself and making an effort towards something new, a new journey. All right. But I do feel like, yeah, you guys going to be refocusing this month. You're going to be cutting out a lot of motherfuckers because they're just not worth it. Yeah. You guys will be healing the tower card for a launch. You're going to be healing. Okay. From Playboys or Playgirls. Give me a crystal card for my cancers for the month of February. What crystal should they work with for the month of February Spirit? 2023 for cancer. We have obsidian. Okay, it says obsidian stones are protective stones. Black obsidian is known to be the strongest. This stone allows you to be protected from incoming negative energy in daily life. Holding it briefly upon the third eye each morning during meditation creates a protective shield around you. And it says meditation is key. So some of you guys are needing to meditate with black obsidian. If you feel like you have any negative fucking energies around you, it's time to cut that shit out because I see it here. People coming in with confused as energy, the spirit of confusion. And you guys have a protective shield around you. Call on the universe to put a Merkaba around you every morning so you'll have that protection around you and also get you guys some old Cybers 13 spiritual protection bath on ladyscorpiostarot.com if these messages resonate leave me a comment below I love y'all I hope you were able to get something from this message um once again please like subscribe and share the channel and I will see you guys next month peace